Hello guys and welcome to my horse and me too. Well, I am very happy to be able to do this because I was terrified that this game would not work in English since I have a very old copy of it, but luckily it did. So we're going to do this and it's going to be so much fun. So as you already have noticed, this game looks a lot different than my horse and me one. The reason is that there are two very different developers making the games. So my guess is that when it came to the second game, another developer pitched another idea and the publisher decided to go with them instead. Or the publisher decided to just remove the old developer and bring in a new one. So this game is not at all menu based as My Horse and Me 1 is. This is story driven. So in this game we're gonna meet Emma, which is the character standing on the front porch. And she will be our character, and we will guide her throughout this journey. And I think this is going to be loads of fun, and I'm really looking forward to do this. So we're going to get started now. And you might have noticed that I have asked you guys for help to pick a horse for this playthrough. So I have chosen which horse we should have, but first we're going to pick our character. So for this, the uh, standard name is Emma. I'm going to go with Esme instead, because that is me. <laughs> uh, but when I refer to the character, I will probably call her Emma. I don't know yet, uh, it's gonna go back and forth, I guess. And also, it, I can't use the keys on my keyboard to actually add my name, which is why I had to write it out. <laughs> uh, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna click OK. And I can select my difficulty. I can pick between Amateur and professional. So my horse will jump automatically if I pick amateur and it will uh, jump on demand if I pick professional. And I think that we should go with professional, right? Because I us I'm usually quite lazy and go with amateur, but I mean this shouldn't be too hard, should it? Let's try professional for this playthrough. I think I can change it later on. Maybe I can't. Oh. Okay, so now I have the opportunity to decide what my character will look like. And I have a couple of different skin tones. I don't really think that they all look very nice. I think I prefer... It's between these two. Hmm. I'm gonna try and pick the hairstyle and then see what I think goes with it. For eyes we have blue, green, uh, look, turquoise, turquoise. Turquoise, I don't know. Uh, Grey, uh, hazel, I think this is. Brown. I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, I think it's hazel. Uh, and I think I want to go with greenish. Or I think the blue ones look the best. They look more natural. This one just looks like it's tinted. Her eyelashes look kind of strange too. Um, let's go with green because I usually always go with green. So here we have a couple of different. Uh, Alternatives. I, I like this one because it has that pink stripe, but it doesn't have that with the other hairstyles, which is kind of sad, I think. I don't know why they did that. That's strange. I would have liked to have some sort of like color variation on something else. But I think we're going with this color because it feels most like Esme to me. So then I think this looks so dark. I think we're gonna have to go with this one. Yeah, so now we're done with her, so now we're going to the horse. And in a video a while back, I asked you guys to pick my horse. I showed you all the alternatives with all the main styles as well. And I asked you guys for name suggestions and all that stuff. So I have read through all the comments from that video and I decided to go with the suggestion from Sarah P. She asked to have a black pinto with a black mane. Which is quite pretty, I think. And I don't think I've ever used a black pink when I'm playing this, so I think that's gonna be fun. And she asked for the name. We're going to remove the standard name of Starlight. And we're going to pick a name I think many of you will recognize. Can you guess it yet? Yeah, Vallegro. So I think I might call this horse Blueberry, because the real Vallegro is called Blueberry. If you don't know who Vallegro is, he 
was one of the top dressage horses in the world, ridden by Charlotte Dujardin. He is owned by Carl Hester and he is now retired. Uh, he's quite old now, I think. Is he like 18 or something? So yeah, he's not uh, competing anymore, but he is a very, very famous horse. And I think it's a very pretty name, so let's go with it. So this will probably this horse will probably ca be called Blueberry, even though he, his real name is Vallegro. You're not my Uncle Roger. Sure I am. The fresh air and good feet keep me looking young. Right. I guess the fresh air also made you taller, changed your hair color, shaved your mustache. Okay, you win. You must be Emma. I'm Brandon. Roger's in the house, I think. Cheryl's in the stables giving the horses medicine. The horses are sick? Yeah. It's been rough riding these last few months. Stutkies are down, too. We're not winning much these days. You look fantastic! And I hear your riding is getting better and better. Ready to win some races? Hey, Caitlin. Definitely. The way I'm feeling, I could outrun the horses. Good. To tell the truth, we need all the help we can get. Hey! Stop chatting and get to work, you two! Is that any way to welcome a guest? Gotta go, Emma. Work to do. See you around. Emma? Oh, there's my little filly. What's going on? Brandon, mix the feed. Caitlin, check Mr. Pusher's hooves and walk triple Z. Oh, it's Cheryl. She always sounds like she has furs under her saddle. See you around, Emma. So, this must be Denise. That's right. The best rider in Pennsylvania. Now she's ready for the big time in Kentucky. Roger, please. One rider won't make a difference. You should have sold when you had the chance. Well, she's, she's not always like that. Oh, yes, she is. She goes from a mare to a nag. Well, it's been a tough year. Don't worry, Uncle Roger. We'll do well enough this season to buy ten more ranches. Oops, I left my luggage at the gate. Well, if she has a stride to match her spirit, things are gonna get interesting. Brandon, my boy, things are gonna get very interesting. So here we are, that was a short introduction to the game and the game story. So Emma, or well Esme as she is called, uh, is here because her uncle Roger needs some help to keep the ranch afloat. He has some real economic issues and he needs to win a lot of competitions with a lot of prize money in order to save the farm. So. Now I can walk around here, or well, run around here. She's. If there's one thing I'm a bit like concerned about with this game is that she is a bit sexualized in my opinion, and I don't really like that. This is actually a children's game, and I think it's kind of problematic that she's like, uh, well, she doesn't really look like a young girl. She looks more like a young woman, being like very thin, a lot of boobs. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the shoes, the shoes either. So I think that's a bit. Ah, uh, I wouldn't have done that myself. Also, I think all the women in this game is very like that. Like the cleavage is very low cut, and I think that's a bit strange. Like make women look like real, like real women, when especially in games. I think that's an issue as it is. So we can run around here, and we can begin by having a look into. The house where we have our own room. So I always press space to enter different areas. So this is my room, and here is the trophy cabinet. This will be filled with trophies as we continue on in the game. I don't think there's anything to see over here. And of course I'm using the arrow keys to move around. I don't think I can use W, A, S, and D, no. I have to use the arrow keys. Here's a gift. And these are spread around all over the farm. There we go. And every time I find a gift, I unlock a new item. 
And these gifts aren't always available, so every time I have finished a new competition, I can go back uh, to old areas and have a look and see if there's a new gift. So then I can go back here to the mirror and change my outfit. So here I can pick my outfit for jumping, dressage, cross country and casual. And casual is of course my everyday, everyday riding wear at home. But if I have a look here, I don't think I have much to choose from right now. I have three different outfits. And I don't think I can turn her around. But I can zoom in. So it's very low uh, quality here. Like the, it's not a very high pixel, resolu pixel resolution. I think the black one looks the best, but I think I will try to change things up a bit every now and then. Here we do have a brown leather pants and also black pants. I do prefer these ones for now. We do have a couple of options here. I do think these ones look the best. Same here. I think that I think the helmets look quite good, to be honest. But I, I am a fan of like classical black and white, so that's what I'm going for. Uh, but just to mix this up a bit, we can go for blue gloves this time. <laughs> so this is only when we compete in show jumping, to be more precise. So if we look at the dressage outfit, because of course we will participate in show jumping, dressage and cross country in this game. Here we have some dressage jackets, we have a green one and a pink one for now. I'm going to go with the black one. I would like to have a couple of white breeches, but we don't. So here you see we have the same options as in the jumping. I think we have the same boots here as well, yeah. We have a couple of different helmets. Uh, I do prefer the black one. And for dressage, I'm always going with white gloves. There's a tip for you guys if you are competing in dressage in real life. If you have a difficult time keeping your hand still, go for black gloves. If you know that you can keep your hand very very still, go for white, because that looks very nice. But also, if your hand is a bit uneven, if you have white gloves, that's going to be very very visible to the judge. So if you are having an issue trying to keep your hand very still during your dressage tests, go for black gloves. Because then it won't be as easy to spot for the judge and you might get some higher points. So the cross country outfit is partly based on the everyday outfit. So the shirt beneath the safety vest will be the one that you have as your casual wear. So you have a couple of different safety vests. I really like these ones. I think it's really nice that they included this in this game. This one looks, looks very similar to the one that I own in real life. I don't use safety vests anymore because I don't do any show jumping or uh, cross country. I only do dressage riding and also some casual out in the woods riding, like hacks. So I don't really use safety vests anymore. Uh, but I think it's nice to have them represented here, especially since cross country is quite a dangerous uh, riding discipline and it's very nice to have this game, which of course is approved by FEI, uh, show off the protective wear. Oh no, I don't want that one, I wanted a purple one. We have the same breeches here, same uh, boots, we have the same helmets as in the show jumping, and also the same, let's go for bra, no, black. yeah, let's go for that. And we have the casual wear. I'm not sure if we have much here yet. Oh, we have four different ones now when we uh, got this one. I'm not sure why the cleavage is so low cut. I think that's kind of impractical. Practical. I like the black shirt. I think that's the nicest looking one of the bunch for now. So I'm going to go with that one. We have jeans here and also a couple of pink jeans. I don't really like this one. I think this one looks the best out of the bunch right now. Yeah, I do. I don't think I can turn her around somehow, no. But here, I think that the white ones look really cool, so I want to have them for now. Here's the standard ones. I really like these ones as well. I really like when there's this la this lacing on the front. But let's go for white now. And also we have the same helmet, so I'm going for black. There we go! So now we have something to start off with. And, oh yeah, I can't use... I want to use the W, A, S, and D keys because that's what I'm used to doing, but I have to use the arrow pad. So here I can look at my results, if I just manage to 
go to the PC. For now I don't have any results, but I can have a look at my champion riders ranking. Uh, so I can see here that I need to have 305 points to qualify for the eventing world championships. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what how many points I get for each and every contest. But here we see the champion riders ranking and I don't think I'm on that one at all. Uh, I have no idea if this is if there's any real names here. I haven't had a look at it. Like ever. I don't think so. I think it's just like random names. We have our achievements, which we don't have any yet because we haven't really gotten started. But there are a bunch of mini games in this game, quite similar to the ones in My Horse and Me. Uh, well, not very similar, but I think one of them might be. I don't really remember. We have our statistics. Which are how many gold medals we have, how many silver medals, yada yada, how many, what time we got in different uh, mini games and stuff, stuff like that. <clears throat> and we also have our videos, because when we manage to unlock, well, we, when we have finished competitions, we will unlock videos. So that will be interesting to have a look at later on. So for now, let's go out and we're going to have a look at our horse. Here we go. So, to go to our horse, we have to go. We either could go up here and just uh, go to our horse through that door, but then we also need to take our horse out. So, in order to actually be able to care for our horse, we need to go into the stable, which is over here by Brandon. Here we are, and I think there's a gift here. Yep. So we got an item for a horse. I'm gonna show you this in just a moment. So if we go over here, we can see a couple of horses around here. And this looks like Blueberry, it isn't. Here's Blueberry. So first of all, I want to have a look at his outfit. So we can see that here. And since we are wearing all black gear, I'm going to change his saddle and bridle to black. We do have a pink one here as well, or purplish. I, I'm not a big fan of this one. But these things will be for each and every uh, discipline. So that's a bit like a, a bit of a bummer. So you can't just make sure that the uh, attack you have for the discipline goes along with the, what am I wearing. So, well, that's a bit sad. So a, a white saddle pad or a black saddle pad and this one which is turned the wrong way because of course this strap is supposed to be over here and being like keeping the girth here. And of course there's no girth either which looks a bit strange. Uh, but I think we're going for white right now to look a bit classic. We have a blue bridle, a, a brown bridle and we have a black bridle. And as you can see the straps aren't really touching correctly. Like, uh, the nose band is way too low. Uh, it could have been the one that goes beneath the bit. I'm not sure what that's called in English. Uh, but it isn't. This is a classical English nose band, since it's above the bit. So it should be way higher up. It should be, like, up here. Uh, and also, uh, the strap underneath his jaw is very low down. It should, of course, start up here and go beneath the jaw. So here we have uh, leg wraps. I think... Yeah, I think we will unlock um, more like leg protective wear later on. But for now we only have leg wraps, so I'm going for the white ones. And we can change the stirrups, I think that's a nice detail. So let's go for... Uh, wait, what color was it on the bit? Yeah, so since the bit is silver, let's go with silver stirrups. And here we can change uh, the... well, the pattern of the butt. <laughs> so, as a lot of you guys know, since you... Most of you know horses, you know that there's a thing where you can take a main comb and like uh, dip it in water and then drag it in different directions on the horse's butt to make some pretty patterns. And I think this, the second pattern looks kind of cute on the white horse. I don't think it looks very good on this one, so I will probably not ever really use them in this playthrough because I don't really think they'll add anything. 
So yeah, now we're going to have a quick look at the horse care. Because of course in this game we need to care for our horse in order to have him feel good. So the game tells us to share, select a carrying method and the game will tell us what we need to do. So here we see that we don't, we can't use the sponge on our horse but we can stroke him and we can call the veterinarian. We can also wash him or clean the hooves and if we pick one of them I think the other ones will be greyed out because he's like halfway up to full health, full health. We can also feed him and water him. So let's give him some food to begin with. So here we need to pick out the correct uh, items for his dinner. So we're going to use one quarter grains and three quarters fruit and vegetables. So I can pick whatever I want because it doesn't really say what this is. Bran... Oats. Barley. Let's go for oats. And then we're gonna have three quarters of fruit and veggies. So let's go for beets. And then carrots. And some apples just to mix it up. So whenever I need to like fill the... What's it called? Uh, crib, I think. I don't know. Uh, with the, the food, I used to have to smash spa the space bar. Until it's filled up. I think you can hear it now. There we go. And I need to do the same thing again so she can give the horse hay. And now he's super dirty, you see? We're gonna have to wash him after this. There we go, Blueberry. So, here you see that uh, the water is now grayed out because he doesn't need anything else. He is full in feeding. So let's wash him to begin with. Should we brush him or wash him? Let's brush him. So this is a bit easier than in the previous game. It isn't as time consuming. So I only need to like brush him quite quickly. We're going to go back and do it more later. <laughs> yes, now it's going to turn around again and we're going to brush him once more, I think. No, we're done! Uh, oh yeah, I think it might be the washing that we're doing twice. Um, I don't really recall this. But now it's very clean, as you can see. So that short, short time brushing him really helped him. So we can pick between clean the stables or clean the hooves, and I'm going to clean the hooves today. So now we're going to just pick out the rocks with a hoof pick, and we're gonna be careful about the frog in the middle. And I think, oh yeah, now we can brush everything with the brush on the back side of the hoof pick. Now for next hoof, I'm not sure why they want diag diagonally. I think this looks really, really nice. Like it's a really good 3D model of a shoe, of a shoe, and I think that the hoof looks really good too. Oh, sorry. I picked the frog. I shouldn't have. So great! Now he's happy and everything. So now we could make shine. Hmm. Well, so we can use a sponge to make him look really shiny. Uh, which we can... Oh yeah, now I remember. We can only use this after completing the grooming. So I think we should do the stroking thing right now. Because we, of course, want him to like us. So this works exactly like with the feeding. I need to smash the space bar. And hope for the best. I think this is kind of cute. Sp 
splendid. So, okay, we have one more thing to do. So let's do the shine thing then. Because I don't want to call the veterinarian today. So this works basically as with the brushing. I'm just gonna go all over him. I'm clicking when I'm doing this, of course. So it's not like I can just pull it over him. I need to click while doing it. And some on the head, too. Oh, his legs are so wonky. <laughs> Did you see the animation on, on the legs? There we go. Fantastic. He's shining like a real star. Nice. So now we are done. And we're going to just click OK and go out of the horse care section of the game. So I think that's enough for an introduction. So we are going to end things off here. And in the next episode, we are going to have a look at some of the riding. Because we need to practice to be able to go into some competitions. And we also need to have a look at the free riding area. So we can get to know the game a bit better. And also I haven't played this game in many many years. So I also need to try to get into the groove again to know what I'm doing. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching today. It, I am super excited to continue this series. And I think we're going to have loads of fun. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to leave a like if you like the video. And if you aren't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the crazy horse games and all the things going on around here every single week. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time.